Hi everybody! This is Fairy there. Thank you for coming to watch my very first video on YouTube. What I've got today is something really special for me. I had saved up my money over Christmas and had been looking to get some things maybe at CHA after the show, but Jane Davenport put out her new line and I was lucky enough to see it on Sunday and had my coupon so she had a lot of the products that I was looking for so I did a little splurge to start off with I got her watercolors I got the neutrals and the brights the colors are on the outside of the box and just really cute, cute artwork on the fronts. I've already opened this one. So inside the cover, when you open it, she has a little place to put your swatches and a little card that talks about her products. And I like seeing what the watercolor looks like on watercolor paper. So this is watercolor paper. And here are the colors, the way they look in the pants. And here's a little swatch that I did where I did a little bit of mixing. So the, the yellow color and the red here make a really pretty orange. And the blue with the red color makes a really nice purple. And here is the yellow with the blue make this really kind of deep foresty green with a pretty yellow highlight behind it. And here's the second palette. I have not opened this one yet. Here we go. Oh, that's cute. And here's her little card. Paint till you faint, she says. And another piece of artwork. And her little card introducing you to her watercolors. I'm going to go ahead and open some of these. Oh, I wanted to show you the really cute little pictures on the half pants with the colors representing them on top. Just adorable. How could you not like that? So, this little palette, all you have to do is reach in and pull this part out and then to pull these out you can push on the outside edge a little bit just go ahead and bend them out bend the prongs out because you want to push those in when you're placing your paints back in and after you get your color out the thing you want to do is you want to take this outside piece that has a little curved piece on it. I don't know if you can see that. This piece has a little lip on it right there. You want to push that in. Push it in pretty good. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your pan and put it in like this and then you can hear it click in really well. I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of this and I'll be back in just a minute. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm loving the way these look on each of the papers. On her website, Jane has a list of the light fastness for these colors and they are artist quality. really luscious beautiful colors. Grab a little piece of paper and see how some of these mix. Let's try butterfly. A little more water. A 
and best friend. Oh, Lush is pretty. Gorgeous. Now what? Let's try yellow. Oh, what a pretty, lively, bright green. Oh, I like that a lot. And maybe this one. We'll try this one over here. Oh, look at how beautiful it moves. Oh, how fun. I'm really liking the ways these go on the paper and the way they move. pretty lavender color. Well, I'm real happy with these. I think these work very well, even on this inexpensive watercolor paper. It's Strathmore 200 series paper. And it I even like the way it looks on the slicker cardstock that she gets with it. One of the things I'm really liking about this palette is that if you close this part up first, there's enough air room in there. You can leave your paints wet and they will safely dry and your swatches will not stick to the paints after you've been painting. And you can still safely put your swatches away inside of your palette. The next thing I got were her mermaid markers. But really, rather than a marker, what they are is a water brush filled with a dye ink that you can use a lot like watercolors. I've already swatched them out. They're right here. Each pen, when it came, had a ring put in, in between the top and the bottom that prevented the ink from flowing to the tip while it was being shipped and waiting for you to take it home. So after you take those out, you just screw the lid back down. It'll give a slight click and then you turn it over and squeeze it a couple of times. Be a little bit patient and the ink will start to flow in the tip. The tip will be stiff when you first get it because it's got sizing in the brush just like if you bought a really nice brush in the art store that has sizing in it, this also has sizing in it to keep its shape while it's shipping. You can do like I said and just let the ink flow down and it will eventually take the sizing out of it or before you take the pen apart and allow the ink to flow, you could swish it around in some warm water and get rid of the sizing. The colors are just like the watercolors, just gorgeous, beautiful hues, a really nice rainbow to work with too. One of the methods that she says that you can use, oh, I really like this too, you can put the cap on the end, like so, so that you don't misplace them. You can transfer from one to the other. The one that you want to transfer ink from, in this case the darker green, to the lighter green, you want the lighter pin on the bottom and you want the darker pin nib on the top. And what you're going to do let's see, is just touch them together and let it get some of that darker color on there. There we go. 
Oh, I got a lot. Ooh, how fun. Well, I'm wondering if this would work better. Oh, I can see that they mixed a little bit. Let's try a different combination and see what happens. What if we mix a blue and a pink? What color is this? Coral and blue bottle. Oh, what a gorgeous color. Okay, so there's what it looks like that way. And here's what... There we go. Now let's see if we can do some transferring. I could see it going on there. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Beautiful. Now I have these stored in a cup over here so that they're all together. But I have them stored with the brush tips up because I think that you can, like this one, if you can see it, it has some ink droplets inside of the cap. And that's one that I had stored face down for a while. So I'm going to store them myself inside here with the brush tips up with their chart. Just right there with it. And then when I need to use them, I'm going to have to prime them, it looks like. Some of the other things that I got include her magic wands, which I have also already opened and done a swatch with. Very pretty, very vivid colors. And that was with light pressure. I was very impressed with their creaminess and the way they went on. You can tell what I did was I went over each square one time with the pencil and then the top little bit, I did it a second time to see what kind of color I'd get, coverage I would get with a second go pass over it. So they have some very nice coverage. And one tip on when you're making uh, swatch cards to go inside of your packaging, especially if the card is more like the size of the packaging it's going is, if you round your corners on the side of your swatch, it makes it a lot easier to pick up than that corner. And let's see, I have right here some samples because I wanted to see how well that these would work going over different paints because they, she um, developed them to go over different mediums and I wanted to see what it would be like on different surfaces so I've got on this side gelatos and on this side neo color this one is Lucas Krill paints which is available from Jerry's Artorama this is Soho paint also acrylic paint also from Jerry's Artorama and this one is just Craft Smart paint and Liquitex Basics Oh, that's nice. The one I really want to know is, uh, see, this is a, a shinier gloss paint, and it's having a harder time taking on some pencil. Let me see what it will do with the white. Just not showing up at all. Let's see what it does on this acrylic. Oh, much nicer, because it has a much matte, more matte finish. Although the white is still struggling. Over all the other paints, including the Liquitex Basic, which is a gloss paint, but I have it on there pretty thin. 
it went on that pretty well. Yeah, I'm not seeing much happening with the white pencil on any of them. I'll have to work on when to use that. So, Magic Wands. I love, love, love that palette. It's just gorgeous. The next thing that found its way into my cart were the paints, the acrylic paints. So, I should have no problem using these paints with these pencils. So, let's give it a, let's see what's in the package. This is the set with the flesh tones and it comes with a stencil of a face in the back and oh, oh a nice little brush. I'm going to put it in my water in here to let the, the sizing go out of it a little bit. It's a really nice thick stencil too. This is not your usual transparent stencil. It's quite opaque and it's quite thick. Oh, I like that. You could use some mediums through this quite easily. And I'm going to make some swatches and I will be right back. So I've got some dabs of paint out and this is my last tube. There's a nice little uh, foil cap on there to help keep everything really fresh. And I'm just dabbing a little bit out onto my watercolor paper. One thing I did notice, that I really love the graphic design on all of the tubes. They're really beautiful. The one thing I noticed though is there is no color listed. So I'm not sure which color is which, but I would call, if we're, these are face paints, I would say that this is kind of an ivory color. That would be the color you'd be getting at the makeup stand probably. That's a nice ivory. And this would be a nice beige. A couple of shades darker. Let's see if we can get a little mixing in there. Not too much. And this would be blush and lipstick. That's just my color. <laughs> And this could also be blush and lipstick and eyeshadow and shadows. Very pretty. Okay, let me clear this up and be right back. For her paint over pins. They are paint markers that are designed to go on top of your paints and other mediums. So let's have a go and see what happens. We have a bold starfish, oh lovely, a bold mermaid, a bold beach, a bold unicorn, and a medium unicorn. Let's see what happens. A medium. Last couple of things that I've got. Finally, I got this face stamp, which has several noses, eyes, and mouths. Four mouths, four eyes, and four noses, and a face. So you can really change it up and make different combinations of things. Um, that's 16 combinations. So that's a lot of variety of faces to be able to make with one stamp. I think it was an outstanding value. It was only $5.99.
And if that was the only thing you bought and with your coupon, you would get a really a good deal, something that you could be creative with for a very long time. The other things that she has are her butterfly journals and these stencil and washi holders, of which I got both. This part is already taken out of the package. This set is a washi holder where you can take your washi tape and wrap it around this and slip it inside of your butterfly journal and take it with you. And each one has a different stencil. This one is just some really nice geometric shapes. If you're into listing or things like that, that could be fun. Or if you like drawing out um, different geometric shapes on top of your art, it would be fun. And it's also great for making your swatches if you want to. So that's very, very cool. The other one has another washi, it says washi addict on it, another washi tape holder. And this stencil is flowers. Very pretty. I like that. I think I'll use that a lot. And, of course, the very last thing is her butterfly journal, which she has uh, lots of inserts for. It came with one insert of, I believe it is watercolor paper. I'm pretty sure it's watercolor paper. It's nice and thick and nice rounded edges. And there are two bands in here to add additional packets if you want and a fun way to close it up. One other thing that I forgot to show you was she was selling a sweet little pouch, clear pouch, with all kinds of tissue shapes in it but I already had some tissue at home and I have some die cut so I die cut a lot of tissue and some colors that, that go well with her palette so that I will have a lot of different things to play with. I cut some different shapes too. She had mostly geometric shapes in hers. I cut some little birds and some compass stars and frilly little hearts and I've got some labels and different things, some flowers and butterflies to have lots of fun with using my matte medium, putting them down on my pages. Thank you for watching all this time for me to get it together and show you everything that made it into my basket at Michael's this week. I hope you have a wonderful week. Thank you again for watching. If you liked it, please go ahead and, and put it in down there. Click the like button and maybe give a new YouTube video maker a chance and subscribe to my channel. Bye!